what is corporate karma that you were trying to mention so basically yeah, what i realize in due process is that uh, mainly our failures or uh, you know our incapacities are put on uh, you know tagged on say karma that you know it didn't happen because it was meant to be this way and uh, you know karma is one thing that uh, affects uh, you know it's it's the rational judgment that we give ourselves all the time so then i realized that uh, you know just to have a more of a on the corporate aspect that there are so many people involved you know in a company and you have created an identity that doesn't uh, really exist so all of them have gotten together the co- the consciousness of each individual becomes a collective consciousness and gives rise to an identity uh, you know which is a third person so how does that karma work that that was my initial uh, thought when i sat into my meditation and then i realized i have even mentioned that in my book uh, i was reminded of uh, steve jobs so when uh, you all might be aware that steve jobs had uh, come to india and he was into the meditation and uh, more about understanding himself and you know he leaves the success of uh, the company apple to that so what made apple really successful so if you realize deeply uh steve jobs creatively used the five senses in the so called apple so when we uh, look at the the first product that was the uh, you know the apple pod uh it was ipod as we call it it was basically for music now music is something that soothes the ear then you have the creative touch screen on that which is basically the sense of feeling then you have uh you know uh, you ha- you've covered your music then you have the beautiful looks of uh, you know the stainless steel frame and uh, stuff like that which instantly attracts your eyes so that is the vision that is clear now then he realized that how can i integrate the smell and the taste so he named it apple which in t- you know has the taste bud aspect of it and the first iphone all uh, the I- airpod had a flower as the wallpaper which induces the sense of smell so once we integrate these five senses into our corporate our karma of the corporate starts increasing to the benefit of uh, you know the third entity because how do we create karma we create karma through our five senses now when you talk about uh, the subconscious mind it uh, how does that work you know you call it destiny or you call it karma it is basically that in one fraction of second your subconscious mind through your five senses records 1 crore 10 lakh pieces of data and in one second we just consciously uh, you know have access to 40 pieces of that data so the rest bit is stored as absolute uh, you know it's it's non accessible but it is there so you so once you have a, you know a more understanding about using your five senses and more awareness about the five senses of you know that they are creating something that is uh, a food for the subconscious mind and you're more conscious of these activities then uh, you know your karma becomes favorable your life becomes favorable and all these uh, various things that, that the subconscious mind is being programmed to do happens uh, that way